This video will showcase how to build a salary processing workflow with Automation Edge Process Studio. We will work with this folder structure. The Employee List Input folder contains the Employee List file with the employee details. The Allowance Input folder contains the role-wise allowance per hour file. The Timesheet Input folder has the Timesheet files by city. The timesheet has day-wise hours worked information for the employees. The salary output folder will store the result file with the salary. It displays the formatting based on the template. The template file has a header row and some rules for conditional formatting on the gross and net salary fields. I have opened the data massaging workspace and created the salary processing project. I have added the folder structure with the files as discussed. Let us begin to create a salary processing workflow. We will call it salary processing. Search and drag three Excel input steps to read the three input files. Double click the steps to configure them one by one. Rename the first step to read employee details. Select the correct driver. Browse the employee list file and add it to the list. Get the fields from the Excel file header row. Rename the second step to allowance details. Select the correct driver. Browse the allowance input file and add it to the list. Get the fields from the Excel file header row. Rename the third step to read timesheet details. Select the correct driver. Browse the two timesheet files for Delhi and Mumbai and add them to the list one by one. The step reads the two files and appends the rows of the second file to the first one. Get the fields from the Excel file header row. Let us proceed further. While the read employee details step is selected, Double click on the Stream Lookup step in Process Studio. Join the Read Allowance step to the Lookup step. Select the Lookup step. We wish to add the allowance per hour in the employee details. Hence, we will match the role as the key for the lookup. Retrieve the allowance per hour and the income tax rate. In the read timesheet details, we read the total number of hours worked by employees. We will now group and aggregate the hours by employee ID. Drag and drop a sort row step followed by a group step. Rename the sort row step to sort rows 1 and select ID as the sort field. In the group by step, group by ID, provide an aggregate name. Select the number of hours that we want to aggregate and select the type as sum. Click OK. We will now merge the two streams with a merge step. Firstly, add sort steps to both the streams as it is a prerequisite for the merge step and sort by ID. I wish to point out that typically use a lookup step to look up values from master tables with fewer rows and a merge step generally merges transaction tables with a higher volume of data. Configure the input steps and the join keys from the two streams in the merge step. Select join type. Next, add a calculator step. Configure it to calculate gross salary and the net salary. Calculator step offers several complex formulae. In this case, we will multiply number of hours and the allowance per hour. For net salary, We use the gross salary and the income tax percentage. Next, add a sort rows 
to sort by the gross salary. Finally, add the Microsoft Excel Writer step. In the file name, browse the location for the result file. Provide a file name. Choose the file extension. You can remove the extension from the file name. In the if sheet exists an output file, make sure to select write to existing sheet. This is necessary since we will be writing on the template sheet. And also select the template file for formatting. In the content tab, get the fields. You can also change the order of the fields. For example, I'll make ID the first field and the name the second field. Role department. I don't need date of joining in my salary statement. Income tax, IDs, duplicate, a gross salary and net salary. Now I can also specify formatting. So in gross salary, I want two decimals and I want the same for net salary. So let me click OK. Let us add a note to the workflow canvas. Finally, we are ready to execute the workflow. Execute the workflow, review the rows of the Excel writer step and lastly check that the results file is generated. Check the Excel file Check if all the data is captured and the formatting is as per the template file. Thank you for watching the salary processing workflow.